Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Lauren is uh <clears throat> Lauren. Let me do that over. I don't want to fuck up your name, but I say your name wrong all the time. You just L- Lauren Low Rosa. You add a little set song. No, okay. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Lauren La Rosa is filling in for <laughs> Jess. And we're asking 800 585 1051 Over the weekend, they announced that Kendrick Lamar is uh, performing at Super Bowl. People were upset. Uh, it's going to happen in New Orleans. So people wanted Lil Wayne and friends, but that didn't happen. So we're asking your thoughts. Let's start with you, Lauren. What you think? Um, I honestly, I was, I, I thought, I thought the announcement was like AI. Like I didn't think it was real. Not mm-hmm. because I don't think Kendrick is dope, but just because I really thought that it was going to be Lil Wayne. Like I mm-hmm. just... I thought we, the people online and the people pressured the Super Bowl enough to just do it. Y'all swear y'all got power. We don't. <laughs> That'd be the funniest thing. We got power. We pressure, we pressure the people that like, man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we pressure the people. Man. You don't think that, that brands and like, the, they look online and see what people are talking about, see what the people want. I think they do. I think they, I think they do, do see what people are talking about. Uh, I think it would have been amazing to have uh, Lil Wayne. I think he has the catalog. I think he has the, the songs. I think he has the accolades. I think he has the artists. I think he could have put on a, a great show. But then I was thinking, you know, I also seen people talking about his Grammy performance. I seen somebody said that he wasn't at rehearsals for his Grammy performance. It, he was hard to deal with. So I will also say, well, does his, rep- say, does his reputation precede him where but, people are scared? Because at the end of the day, this is still a business. But if you don't like your job some days, or like, you know, you late a little bit, like on your big day at work, the Super Bowl, I think he would have pulled it off. I mean, I, I, I don't know. You can't know. mess. That's some that's some. But I'm also not mad at Kendrick, shit. though. But Kendrick start. deserves it, too. Kendrick deserves it, right? He, yeah. has the, he has the hits. He has the accolades. He has the yeah, catalog. For sure. Let me tell you something. Uh, Lil Wayne is a god and should always be treated as such. Uh, I definitely wanted to see Lil Wayne and friends in New Orleans, but that is until I heard that we getting Kendrick. <laughs> now I didn't know Kendrick was an option. I wasn't even thinking about Kendrick. Me neither. But the fact that they gave us Kendrick, I'm like, damn, Kendrick Lamar during Black History Month mm-hmm. at the Super Bowl a week after the Grammys, and I I almost can guarantee you, Foria and Not Like Us gonna be nominated for a Grammy. Right. I love the artistic uh, uh, creations that Dave Free and, and Kendrick Lamar present. I agree. I want to see Kendrick Lamar on that stage. I would I would I have too. loved to see Lil Wayne and Friends. But if you're telling me I'm getting Kendrick Lamar, I'm, I'm fine with that. But Give if, us the set if, list, if there's yo, a choice, though, the if there's a choice, what would you prefer? If, if I would a, prefer Lil Wayne. I forget what you would prefer. If there was a choice in 2024 and I'm making a sound business decision, I would probably pick Kendrick Lamar. Why? Because Kendrick Lamar had a monster the year he and he's had. had a monster career. He's probably got Lil an Wayne album. Lil Wayne has had a monster he's, career. He's probably got an album coming out. See, y'all forget something that Lil Wayne said on that 400 podcast. And that's just the reality of the situation. He said, I hope to do enough now to where they really consider me in February. Mm-hmm. If you had to choose, Lil Wayne, Lil, Kendrick Lamar had the biggest year of any rapper, one of the biggest years of any musician I out, agree. period. I agree. So it's like, for me, February, I would like I said, I would have loved to see Lil Wayne and Friends, but Kendrick Lamar at the Super Bowl during Black History Month, and he probably dropping an album, and he gonna win a Grammy for Not Like Us or Euphoria or something, like, I, that's gonna be phenomenal. What's the set list gonna be given, though? Because people like the, the people keep trying to play with Kendrick like he don't no, got Kendrick, the catalog. Kendrick, Kendrick, has Kendrick a, is Kendrick a 17-time Grammy has a winner, a Pulitzer Prize winner. This man has the highest grossing tour of any rapper ever one ra- solo rapper headlining right. show worldwide for the, like for the big step They're of tour like 110 million uh uh uh, uh I, I get that tour MV, gross. But if MV there was an like- option i would prefer to see little wayne in, in his hometown of new orleans little wayne and friends he has the catalog he has the friends and we just seen kendrick a couple of years ago at the Super Bowl. Now, it wasn't his own set, yeah. but I would have loved to see Lil Wayne. I think this was the uh, perfect storm for Lil Wayne in New Orleans for him. Also, we could have did Kendrick next year because uh, he's not in LA. We could have did Kendrick it, it, the year you, after you, that. You missed the moment, though. I get the, the uh, not uh, like us moment. Uh, I get also it, but too, it's still if it wasn't the for, If it wasn't for two things, right? If it wasn't for one, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg being uh, in California mm-hmm. when the Rams was in the Super Bowl, we right. wouldn't have this expectation. And if it wasn't, and if it wasn't for Jay Z and Rock Nation curating the halftime Super Bowl, we wouldn't have this expectation right. because it don't. It never used to matter what city. What city did Michael Jackson perform in? We don't even know. What city did Prince perform in? Who cares? What was city? It did, what city did Justin Timberlake uh, uh, reveal Janet Jackson's titty to the world in? Who cares? 
It doesn't matter. I do remember you. that one though. That was Charlotte, North Carolina. That was Charlotte. Yeah. I don't even remember who performed in it's New York. The, the, and the fact that I'm from the Carolinas, I remember that. Okay. But let's go to the <laughs> phone lines. This? We got a lot of people on the lines. Hello. Who's this? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey. Good morning. What What were your thoughts on Kendrick performing at Super Bowl? Uh, listen. I'm from New Orleans. We don't want that. Yeah. I'm mad. We mad. I'm speaking for Nola. We mad. Okay. It you mad? Been you it big mad? Been cash money. I'm big mad. Okay. You know what I, mean? I don't want to hear it. I ain't even say That's nothing. Right. Said it right. I was the one saying Lil Wayne and that. friends for the past couple of years. But if you're giving me Kendrick, I get it. And also, I was wrong. The titty wasn't in Charlotte. It but, was in Houston. Oh, See? so you just Charlotte was in the Super Bowl. <laughs> it just came back to me just now. Hello, who's this? <laughs> yo, this is Keith from Brooklyn. You heard? Keith from Brooklyn. You heard? Yo, yo, yo! I just don't, I just don't get the whole Kendrick Lamar being at the Super Bowl thing. Like, how many, how many hit records does this man have, Charlotte? I had yo. to hang up on him. No, don't, like, hang, why, don't do that. Because we, how don't many do hit that. records does Kendrick have? Let the man talk. All the accolades, God dang. the Grammys. Like, come on, let's but, stop that. that, that we're we gonna act like just, they not like us. That is only hit with you. But that's when you he educate. He has records. That's when you educate a person. You don't that, just hang up on him. Well. 800-585-1051. Kendrick Lamar performing at the Super Bowl. What's your thoughts? It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Laura LaRosa is filling in for Jess. Now, if you're just joining us, uh, they announced over the weekend that Kendrick Lamar will be performing at the Super Bowl. And we're asking, what are your thoughts? 800-585-1051. Hello, who's this? What up, though? This is Lucky from Detroit. Lucky, what, what up, up Lucky from Detroit. What's your thoughts? Man, just like Tory Lane's dad said, Rock Nation shall crumble. I'm so tired of them having <laughs> their hands behind everything. And I hate fake love and fake energy from people. Jay-Z been acting like he rocked with Drake for all these years. And then you go and put Kendrick on the big stage where you know Drake used that line about the Super Bowl and that song, and you go and do this. I hate fake stuff. Hey, you know, you, hey, by the way, you know this is Twitter math, right? Like, this is literally this is literally social media logic putting things together. These You really think these people sitting around thinking, you know what we can do? <laughs> we gonna piss Drake off, because Drake said he was big as the Super Bowl, as Wait, if J. Cole's not a Rock Nation artist. So I why thought, would he do that to J. Cole? I thought that was the voice when you talking to the massa. So now that's the Rock Nation. Y'all voice? do be okay. talking to Massa. Okay. Hello? This is silly. Hello, who's this? Hey, hey, this is Carlin. Hey, Carlin. What's your, what's your thoughts on Kendrick Lamar performing at the Super Bowl? Man, I think it'll be great that he'll be performing. But honestly, we never know what may happen. He may just bring Lil Wayne on stage, which will be might. awesome because it'll be that's right. It'll be that going on. We got. Mardi Gras going on at that time, so I think the city's going to be crazy in New Orleans at that time. Yeah, and by the Thank way, you. Not Like Us is perfect for uh, them bands, them New Orleans bands. I'm trying to tell you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's what they've been saying about the HBCU homecoming and, 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 and by the way, up. I want to say something else. Y'all really want Kendrick Lamar to bring Lil no. Wayne out? No, Lil Wayne can't do that. I don't understand. Lil Wayne this... can't do that. Why, Why can't he do that? You just demolished... You just beat my artist there in the rap. There you go. Okay. You okay. just beat my okay. artist in the rap battle. Okay. Oh, I, I can't. About I, I know y'all did. I can't come out there. I know y'all did. I can't come out there and rock with you. <laughs> y'all my are so Drake. ridiculous. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Human beings are just ridiculous people. <laughs> Why you want you? You really think Lil <laughs> Wayne is gonna come out with Kendrick Lamar after, after Kendrick Lamar just wiped his ass with Drake? How did I forget that that fast? Because that's what your generation does, and it's not even just you as a youngster. It's just this whole generation. We don't remember nothing. We are all such prisoners of the moment, and it's the Disgusting! I don't remember Kendrick busting Drake's ass, but you want to hear not like us. Mm -hmm. Just think about the, just think about how the brain works. Oh, you, got you can't wait to hear not like us in the Super Bowl, <laughs> but you down. forgot that, who not like us is about. That vein on the side of that eraser head. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I just want y'all to use your brain. You <laughs> use your brains. Hello, who's That's this? All. Hello, how are you? Good morning, guys. Good morning. What's your thought, Mama? I believe that. Um, I said I believe. The children. I agree. I think. <laughs> um, I agree that he should um, he should perform there because he's hot right now. That's and cool. he come and he came out with a song with um, he came out with another song after what Drake um, put out a couple weeks ago. So yeah, he should he should perform. So you with you with Kendrick performing? Yeah, I definitely am, Lindsay. 
Okay. Thank and you, Kendrick mama. probably gonna drop an album. Listen, I have no problem. You're not going to get me to be upset. No. Over Kendrick Lamar bringing his unapologetically black ass <laughs> on the Super Bowl stage during Black History Month. And he's artsy. Do you know the show that we're about to see? I Man. think the show is gonna be amazing. Like the way that Kendrick thinks the production. and the way that his team thinks, that production is gonna be on another level. Like and you know that. And anything, anything that pisses off a beige. Biracial, oh light skinned human. I am all for it. All right. I am here for the okay. chaos. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Have, I am here for we have it. Just with the mess okay. coming up. Let's with go, Lose. Kendrick uh, Lamar. We do. All right. But Little Wayne and Friends would have been great. Mm -hmm. But when you give me Kendrick Lamar, I can't, I'm like, oh, okay. Dang. Just be happy that we don't got to see Taylor Swift. Why won't y'all give Rock Nation their credit for constantly blocking Taylor Swift for the last five years? We wanted to see you move them shoulders to shake it off. I can't believe you would want to see a white woman shaking her shoulders during Black History Month. No, she Not wants to see you. Thick she wants to see a man. you. That would never happen. Yeah, I feel like I've seen you do that dance before. Why do I feel like that? You would never see me shaking my shoulders yeah, we have that. to I, shake it off during Black History Month. I think that I... Especially when I know, especially if somebody said to me, the options were Taylor Swift, Lil Wayne, and Kendrick Lamar, and we chose Taylor Swift, I'm boycotting. All right. Okay? You're All not right. going to watch it? No. Yes, you would. I would, I would absolutely. Yes, I, first of all, I have would. no interest in seeing Taylor Swift. You mean a living room like this? Shake it off. No, no. Shake it. Yes, you oh, would. No. Well, we have Jess with the mess with Lauren no. LaRosa. We do. We are going to get into um, Rich Homie Kwan, his girlfriend who was with him um, mm -hmm. during the 911 call, found him uh, dead, um, spoke out, and his dad also uh, posted a statement about everything that happened. So we're going to talk about that a bit. All right. We'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.